Hello everyone, I'm Steve Baxi. And I'm Captain Logan. And today we are talking about injustice, kind of. Basically what you are watching right now <laughs> is my run through of Injustice Gods Among Us, the first game on PS4 that runs for about three hours long. And because it's really hard to play a fighting game and talk at the same time, all of this commentary is being done later. And instead of talking about everything that's happening on screen, because that would get repetitive, I brought in Captain Logan so we could sit here and talk about Injustice, the sequel, superhero video games in general and stuff. And, and you get to watch both the game's cutscenes, some of my fight scenes, and get a conversation about video games in general. Yeah, we just wanted to give you something else to listen to and think about. Exactly. It'll be fun. And what you're watching at this moment is just me getting the game rigged up, skipping the tutorials, putting in the WBID and getting all my unlockables and all of that. And then the game will progress from there. Uh, so, Cap, what do you think of this game? We talked about this earlier, so it's going to be weird to recap the conversation. But just so people, in case I didn't listen to Crisis or Zero Hour, actually, um, what do you <laughs> think of Injustice? That's OK, Steve. My name's Captain Logan. I'm constantly recapping things. <laughs> Uh, I like this game a lot. I I think it is a massive improvement for me over Mortal Kombat. I've never been a Mortal Kombat fan. It's made by the same people that do Mortal Kombat. It is it is for me in uh, like like it's still clunkier than other fighting games, uh, but it's more fluid than the at least the Mortal Kombat's I played. Yeah, that's fair. Mortal Kombat had a tough last couple years until they came out with the most recent edition, which is really good. But yeah, I've never been a big Mortal Kombat guy either. I've more been like Street Fighter type. I'm not saying I don't enjoy Mortal Kombat. I just I just think I, I just enjoyed this more. Did you play DC Universe versus Mortal Kombat? Yes. Yeah, and that's and and, and once I played this, it was hard to go back. Yeah, I agree. I that game is okay, but this is just exactly what I wanted that game to be. Now, I'd love some sort of a hybrid where we could bring Mortal Kombat characters into this, where, where it's this, it's the mechanics of this game and the controls are like this, but with more Mortal Kombat characters. I mean, you've got, uh, you've got what's-his-face in, in, in the first game. Where'd you get it? What? You want one? Copy that. <laughs> get away from him! I'm handling this. me made me Lois my son first Krypton now Metropolis people you love tend to blow up don't they huh? Superman don't Ugh! 
<laughs> That's why I like you, Superman. You're much more gullible than... You think you can have a family? That locking me up will magically reform me. And they'll be safe. So big, so dumb. <laughs> now run along, so I can break out of here. I've got lots of planning to do to top this. That's enough. I know it's soon, but... Think you'll ever love again? Maybe you won't kill your next family. Let's wrap this up. I've got to get to the watchtower. Before Luthor throws something else at us. <laughs> Doomsday. <laughs> Should have been a combined assault. Clark sometimes forgets he can't do everything himself. Interrupting tonight's entertainment, Raven. I detest violence, Luther, but I'm even less fond of you. Thought you'd have this mess cleaned up by now. Name Cyborg, not Miracle Worker. Nightwing to Batman, you there? I could use your help. After I check out Arkham, I have to make sure Luther didn't bust him out. He'll keep. We're getting our butts handed to us. Be there soon, Dick. We're keeping a close eye on him, Batman, just like you said. He hasn't moved in hours. What in the hell? What is that? How'd Joker do this? He didn't. The real trap. Us. You're so clever. You're Luther's pet now, Deathstroke? His money's green, and as a bonus, I get to kill Batman. Yeah, you got the DLC to get Scorpion, Scorpion in the first that's game. Right. Oh, was that just DLC? I thought, I, I couldn't remember. Because I had the, the original, and then I got the Ultimate Edition, or whatever that's called. Yeah. And Scorpion was in there, and I couldn't remember if he was there from the beginning. And I just thought it was hilarious. He stuck out like a th sore thumb. Like, I was expecting Bob from Sesame <laughs> Street to, sh to show up and be like, One of these things is not like the others. <laughs> Yeah, no, he, he was DLC. He was part of, I think, one of the, the later waves of that 
Uh, but, so, but originally he wasn't in the game and I think a lot of people weren't sure if they were going to do any of that but because it's the same studio and the same people that rebooted Mortal Kombat with, with this game engine. Uh, they, they decided to throw that in there and lots of people want to know if he's going to be in the second game or if they're going to do more of that hybrid stuff. They probably found it hard not to indulge themselves. Yeah. And do that kind of thing. Uh, like, like Mortal Kombat vs. DC was kind of, uh, if memory serves, it was kind of a Mortal Kombat story with DC characters that get sucked in that world. Yeah, yeah it was their two worlds colliding, is but that it what definitely. It was? Yeah, but it definitely felt like this is a Mortal Kombat game and you're just putting DC scenery in. Sorry, Deathstroke. No bonus for you. Batman to Watchtower. Come in. Nightwing. Shazam! Green Arrow, what was that? Thunder of the Gods, Flash. Thunder of the Gods. What does that make us? <laughs> the poor slobs who clean up the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if there are no further interruptions. Took me almost two minutes to break your encryption. Nice work. Faye. He esperado mucho tiempo para esto. Now I break your back. Yeah, and it felt like those characters are being rendered like Mortal Kombat characters. Yeah, yeah, the aesthetic is all Mortal Kombat. And this, it's... Sort of this hybrid thing uh, where it feels a little bit Mortal Kombat-like just because it's those creators and it's it's dark and broody and, uh, you know, and that kind of thing because it's, you know, Mortal Kombat-like. Yeah, um, they do a pretty good job of redesigning the characters to fit this world more because I feel like if you just did classic DC character models, this game wouldn't play as well or wouldn't well, be and as Well, ironically, that's what was odd about Mortal Kombat vs. DC is that it was classic DC character models. Yeah, I mean, yeah, classic Superman the, costumes and stuff. Yeah, and that was really fun. I mean, it was, it was like if you took the Christopher Reeve Superman and you put him in Mortal Kombat. And it was really yeah. strange because that, that's what he looked like, but he's got that, like, that really, really angsty-looking face. And they did that really weird thing because DC superheroes can't have fatalities. So yeah. they have like these really hardcore final moves where they get like possessed and they just attack you really violently. And what they're doing should kill you and be a fatality, like Superman pounding you into the ground literally, but they're not. And so it's just, it felt really to kill. Yeah, I, I'm wondering why they made the decision not to have fatalities in Injustice 2 because that's, that's one of the pieces of news that came out this week about that game that we actually didn't mention on Zero Hour. Bane, Catwoman, Grundy. You're all alone, Luther. Geniuses often are. Psychopaths like you. You hero types are all alike, even less imposing close up. You're testing my patience. Designed to throwing toys. Humility. 
Oh, yeah. And a lot of those are characters in the Injustice universe, because, of course, it's kind of an Elseworldsy thing. And one of the reasons, by the way, that I'm really enjoying the Injustice world in comics is because it's the first real, honest-to-God, Elseworlds thing we've had in a long time. And it's not yeah. called that, but that's basically what it is. And it's really cool. Uh, like I wish they'd call it that, but it's really cool to get such a long-running Elseworlds thing. But don't you think that at least some of those get Like, wouldn't it be kind of fun if some of them had it and some of them didn't? Yeah, I mean, Doomsday could totally have a fatality. Joker could have a fatality. Superman and Batman, maybe not. But then Dictator Superman, why not? Because I'm not... A, I'm not the biggest Mortal Kombat guy, uh, so I mean, like, like it's it's a game I've played, you know, a little bit and, and sampled here and there, you know, you know, throughout its its uh, history. But if memory serves, fatalities happen after you've won already, right? Yeah, they're just a bonus thing you throw in at the end as a gloating mechanism. <laughs> uh, try this on, genius. Superman, report. It's done. The others are mopping up. I'm taking Doomsday into deep space. Make sure it's very deep space. What's that? It's the none of your damn business alarm. <laughs> Radiological. Metropolis. <laughs> I can see the headlines. Justice League fails. Cloud. Kills millions. You gave him a nuke? Most of the League dies, and Superman's beloved city is vaporized. I console the masses by offering to rebuild it in my own image of course. He was done. This is Batman. Code Red. Everyone to these coordinates. Now! <laughs> Baldy said remember to... <laughs> ah, there we are. Mr. J! It works! Oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. Back to the van, Harley. Bats and I need to talk. But, but... <gasps> Go! No one likes a third wheel. Batman! My coup de coup. My palm de frite. I knew that ape Destro couldn't kill you. Too bad for you. Why so jumpy? I merely took it off standby. It's this button you've got to worry about. There they are. Keep him talking, Bruce. Don't wait for us, Barry. Go! You push that button and eight million die. Eight million and two, darling. I was going to enjoy the fireworks from a safe distance, but now that you're here, Let's say we have one last dance. What's the matter with this thing? This is somehow your fault! Metropolis, and yet... Maybe I was too sentimental before. I'll be fine without you. Right, yeah, and it, it doesn't it doesn't really mean anything for the match. You don't get extra points or whatever. It's not points, but you know what I mean. So, uh, like, why not have some characters that have it and some characters that don't? Yeah, and if you wanted to be a stickler about it, you could just keep it to the versus section and not have it in the story. Sure, that'd be fine too. But that, but so that'd be like, like Doomsday ought to have one. Yeah, Doomsday should have a great one. And a part of the the thing with Injustice is that it's so preposterous that Doomsday can do a thing where he beats you th halfway through the earth and then back again. And that might as well be a fatality. Those get so over the top. I just love them. 
Oh, I know They're Zod hits you the boon. And they should. Yeah, you leave the planet or go through it a lot in that game. Yeah, I like. Well, and, and Zod not only throws you to the moon, but he starts on the moon <laughs> and then flies down to begin the match. It's fantastic. Yeah, and some he of them. He must really know his geography. He must. He's very good about that. Some of them are, are pretty minor. Like, Green Arrow, all he really does is just barrage you with arrows. Deathstroke just puts off a really cool uh, assault of guns and a sword. Batman but then he looks like Superman, and he's pounding you into the atmosphere and back. Yeah, if it's a cosmic character or somebody with, you know, you know, real big alien powers like that. I forget. What is Manhunters? I don't remember. I haven't actually played yeah, him with I, yet. Oh, okay. He's fun to play with. Uh, if you go back and watch the video Jason and I did on Injustice, uh, you see Jason cannot control himself when we play with Manhunter because he's got his his uh, energy bar has that Martian hand that shoots out and then slowly comes back. Oh, that's cool. And Jason just thinks that's the funniest thing in the world, and <laughs> it distracts him. And like, I love it when he plays his Martian Manhunter because then I beat him. <laughs> Now stay down. And keep quiet. Gotham, sort of. So, temporal displacement? Alternate Earth? Could be either. We may have jumped to a different dimension. Or events in our own timeline have changed, and we're in a new, altered present. We need to determine which, soon. If Joker's bomb detonated, we have to get back. The Watchtower should have picked up any anomalies, right? The Watchtower might not exist. I can't make contact. Well, we need to find out. Once my ring is charged, I can get us there. The Atlantis Archives. If this is an altered timeline, we might find a record of the triggering event there. Assuming there's an Atlantis. It's worth investigating. Let's you and I check things out here. Ring, where's the nearest power battery? The Ferris Aircraft Facility in Coast City. Well, at least that hasn't changed. Stay low. I'll be back ASAP. Where did you say the battery was? Carol Ferris's office. Left at the next hallway, third door on the right. It's the fourth door. Raven? Cyborg? This is your final chance to accept the High Counselor's amnesty, Deathstroke. Get re-educated in your boot camp. Become a puppet. Like you. The boss is being generous. I wouldn't be. Most of the Titans died in Metropolis five years ago. I had nothing to do with that. Doesn't matter. You're still on the wrong side of the law. Tell this to your boss. <laughs> this how things work here? So you're green again? Something's not right. He's Hal Jordan, and... Stand down. You're done here. Definitely not ours. You feel his pain? Not yet. <laughs> 
After we're done with Deathstroke, how about the three of us go talk to the High Council? Enough! Whoever you are, you're under arrest. Every what time. happens to, because if you go to the Watchtower base, they do this a lot in the game, where if you play as a character that's already on the map somewhere, they alter their costume. So if you play as Doomsday, the background Doomsday has like classic Doomsday's costume. So when you play on the Watchtower as Martian Manhunter, I wonder what happens to the Martian Manhunter in the background. He just disappears. He's not there. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. I figured they would just give you a second one or that's, turn him into a white Martian. If memories... <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it would be funny if the background was the white, white Martians. Like Intruder Alert. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think if because that was the thing I wondered about, and I tested it, and if memory serves, he disappears. He's just not back there. Oh, well, that's lazy. You might as well just do the Doomsday thing and give him a different costume. I think it's less. It's less lazy than what I thought would happen, which is just you had two of them. That's I was true. impressed they put the thought into it to do that. I've taught, I'm gonna have a hard time not repeating myself and saying things that I've said about this game the couple of times I've done videos on it, but maybe you haven't watched those videos. Um, <laughs> Steve, I, one of my biggest complaints about that game is just not enough arenas. Yeah, I absolutely agree. There's a couple of them that are just the same ones at a different time of day. And that's the other thing that's irritating about it. In a game where you have skins, of of for your characters and some characters have especially once you get the downloadable content like seven or eight different skins when you've got arenas that basically just have skins <laughs> guess i won't be getting any more lip from her Now, who's this High Counselor? The one who's turned you into a second-rate thug? I'll show you second-rate. Talk. You. Now. Okay. Let's talk about the mess of trouble you're in. And how I'm gonna knock that head sideways. But we treat them as separate arenas? And there's still yeah. only, like, what, 15 of them? I don't know. I, I, I think... Like, like 15 in total. I don't remember how many there are, but not nearly enough. And I've played fighting games from well earlier than that that had a bigger variety of arenas. I uh, like, 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 like a lot of games I've played, every character gets an arena. You don't have that with, with Injustice. Yeah, I really wish we had more arenas, and then also I just wish, because you'll be watching the story, it's really short. I wish we got more of more of that material, because as the, as the game stands, if you're not playing with, with another person, it's really boring. Like, Joker's Asylum, why doesn't Joker have a theme park? Yeah, why doesn't Joker have a theme park? Why don't we get, like, because we, we have the Hall of Justice, and we can transition in and out of that, but then you also have, like, you can do a a, a move where you break into Darkseid's Lair on Apocalypse. Why can't Darkseid's Lair just be a map? Oh, is that a thing? Okay, so people have told me that it is possible to, because it, it, it happened much more readily in Mortal Kombat versus DC, where you throw somebody into another stage of the yeah. arena, and I complained in one of the videos I did on that game that you couldn't do that in this, and then somebody said, somebody corrected me and said, no, no, you actually can. I, I've never, I've never had it happen. I don't know how it happens. Okay, so it's it's really simple depending on how hard the opponent you're fighting is, because all you have to do is go to the corner of the map, and depending on where it is, it could be the right corner or the left corner, and you do a heavy attack with the the right bumper and the X button or just the arrow key, um, and you can knock them into another arena. Okay. Um, and it's kind of fun. For some reason, I've just never had that. I totally thought you were going to say, you go to the edge of the screen, and then you <laughs> peel the comic book page back. <laughs> And then you throw them to another panel, which would be would be would be great. Head still on straight. Damn scum! You should have killed me. Get off me! Look, I'm not with them. Whoever you are, they know you now. They catch you. You have the stones to refuse their amnesty. Who are they working for? Who's the only one who could keep matters like them in line? Wonder Woman. Sinestro. Sinestro? On my way. I need to charge my ring, and you and I are gonna take a little trip.
I'll be happy to see Green Arrow die again. Wonder Woman, Green Arrow, now Hal Jordan. This just keeps getting better. You amuse me, Jordan. This Sinestro. Ah! Oppressing your home planet isn't enough, Sinestro. The One Earth government is similar to mine on Koragar. An alliance was logical. So for now, I tolerate humans. Even Hal Jordan. My doppelganger has joined your side. As did all who wish to live. Resisting arrest. Again. You okay? How? Someone call me? Your Sinestro core? Sinestro's right. Fear is more effective than willpower. So you ditched green and went yellow. The color of cowardice. I'm still about order, like the Guardians. They're very proud. Sanctimony's easy when you don't know save what to do. it. Time to kick my ass. <laughs>
Well, that was surreal. And a bit disturbing. Yeah, all that yellow is really tough on the eyes. We need to move. Hiding from the cops. Aren't there any good guys here? There just might be. Nothing yet? The energy signature from the park doesn't match anything in the database. Well, why don't I just vibrate at the same frequency as the energy signature and follow them? Because we don't know if they went somewhere dangerous. Or if they went anywhere at all. Superman's right. It's too risky. Too bad I wasn't fast enough to catch him in the first place. We'll find him. We have to. A pleasure most rare, Your Highness. I need information on surface world governance, history, and current structure. Ah, for the treaty negotiations with the High Counselor. Yes, the treaty discussions. I'm afraid our resources are limited. Superman has been less than willing to reveal his regime's inner workings. Tell me what you know. Recount the events of his ascension. A thorough review might illuminate new strategies for negotiation. I am humbled, sire. Five years ago, the criminal Joker deceived Superman into killing his wife and unborn son, and destroying Metropolis. Consumed by grief, Superman killed the Joker. Yes. We all remember where we were that day. Afterward, he showed no restraint. Judge, jury, and executioner, he and other like-minded metahumans quickly reigned in the criminal element. Which made him quite popular. The surface world was desperate for strong leadership. Superman consolidated his power. He created the One Earth Government. Democratic institutions were swept away. Sire? The High Counselor's envoys await you in the throne room. Flash, Shazam, welcome. Your Highness, it's an honor to meet you. And to be the first surface people to visit Atlantis. Yes, we have important matters to discuss. The treaty. The final draft. Superman is glad you agreed to his terms. May I? Is there a problem, Your Highness? This is complete subjugation. Superman will rule Atlantis. It's what you agreed to. It's what we expect. You threaten me? Tread carefully. We have our orders. can tell Superman. He will not have Atlantis. Send this quick. Poseidon, take you.
Your orders be damned. Let's not take this any further. I want to talk to Superman. You don't talk to Superman. You do what he wants. And you're going to do what you promised. to make sorry diplomats. There he is, sire. Well then, parallel dimension it is. Who do you work for, usurper? Manta? Ocean Master? I'm the king of Atlantis. I answer to no one. Unlike you. Mind your tongue. You would give away your kingdom like a pair of worn boots. To a surface dweller? The treaty requires Superman to maintain Earth's oceans and recognize our autonomy. You put your army at his beck and call. A necessary compromise. More like appeasement. I grow tired of this. Take him. <laughs> plan to offer you help. I've changed my mind. We need to have... Sorry, I'm, I'm running off with myself. We we need to do a uh, a sequel or like a like a up, like a 3D update or something to that uh to to what is that game um that 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 comics game on the on the Sega Genesis where you go from oh. panel to panel? Yeah, 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 I remember what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, that needs to be a thing. I want to see a fighting game that does that. Anyway, I'm sorry, so wait, what were you going to say? So, so are there any other off-planet ones? Um, off the top of my head, I can't really remember. There's a there's a thing in Superman's Fortress of Solitude where periodically the Phantom Zone generator will blink and you can kick an enemy into the Phantom Zone, they get beat up by phantoms and then get sped out. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, there's a thing where you, in the, Phantom, in the Fortress of Solitude as well, where if you break them out of the arena, um, you go downstairs to Superman's museum of creatures and stuff, and you can just take a giant glass display and smash someone with it. It needs to have a giant sign like the one in Jurassic Park that says when dinosaurs rule the Earth, that says Superman's museum of creatures and stuff. <laughs> That's fantastic. By the way, the game that I was trying to remember is called Comic Zone. Right, yeah. So nope. hard. I'm going to do a platforming hour on that at some point, but uh, get ready to watch me do the same two levels over and over again because... I can't get past that. Uh, I would like to see more off-world stuff in Injustice 2. That's a thing I'd like. Uh, I think it'd be cool. And with more cosmic characters, surely, right? Like, like we, we got a yeah. in no, that game. Disgusting. A revised foreign policy. 
Kill him! What now? They do tend to fight first, don't they? Though I may have stoked the fires a bit. Ares, why are you here? I feed on conflict. Until today I've been starving. I sensed the return of aggression and sought its cause. You did more than that. You brought us here. No, but I can guess who did. My fire doesn't need stoking, Ares. Tell me who. You presume to command me. I do. And you will obey. Superman's reign is nearly a limited conflict. Left me virtually powerless. So if you didn't bring us here, who did? Those who would end Superman's rule. The insurgents. Heroes? Only one. All other heroes who challenged Superman have been eliminated. He killed them. And the only ones left are those who joined him. Along with a small cadre of former villains, whose loyalty was bought or coerced. I need to join my colleagues. They're with the insurgents as we speak. Send me to them. How'd you get here? Ares. Not our Ares. We know. Meet not our Batman. I was wondering how to retrieve you from Atlantis. Headache? Uh, trying to prevent one. It's a durability enhancer. 5U93R. How can a pill allow- Kryptonian nanotech. Increases the tensile strength of bone and tissue by several thousand percent. Bats can tell you the rest later if you're having trouble sleeping. He borrowed the recipe from Superman. Soups gives it to his flunkies. Yes. We met a couple of our evil twins. They're not evil. Most obey Superman out of fear, or they believe he's right and have lost perspective. So you're the only one left. Not the only one. What is this? How are you even alive? He's with me. Unlike your Luther, I've never indulged in lawbreaking. Superman doesn't suspect his best friend is funding the insurgency. Luthor's involvement is a secret. People critical of Superman disappear. Government officials, activists, reporters. Well, now that we're all here, explain why you chose us. And why you didn't ask before yanking us over. We were kind of busy. The nuclear bomb. It didn't go off. Your transfer somehow prevented it. How do you know about the- We've been monitoring your world for some time. You four, specifically. I have a weapon to take down Superman. A kryptonite-based laser that- Hold on. A kryptonite weapon? You kill him, you're no better than he is. I didn't say kill. It'll incapacitate him, nothing more. The weapon's in the Batcave. I need your DNA to unlock it. The collar's working. Good. 
Re-education wasn't going to affect him. Hmm. You sure you don't want me to stay? Cal, I know you didn't lose your super hearing. Are you okay with this? With us? Of course. I'm not trying to replace her. I just thought we... I know. Go on. I'm fine. I'm going. I just came to tell you Lantern's on his, on his way. way in. Guess my super hearing is working. Hi, Counselor. Love Diana's new look. Mm. We have a problem. I ran into Diana's twin, and someone who looked a lot like Oliver Queen. And Hal Jordan. Find them, and any others that might be out there. I want to know everything. Thanks for the ride. You're a funny guy. Are you sure the old gang lives around here? True, here they could be dead. <gasps> Law-abiding! Bite your tongue. Interesting. My fame precedes me. Right in the belfry! Please, don't go! Shut it, Clark. Oh, did you hurt your leg? How about a broken neck to go with it? It's over, Clown. Not yet. And now, my sour-faced flying rodent, let's put a smile on that puss. <laughs> Such a beautiful moment can't be rushed. Don't go cheering up without me. Batman, it's been a while. On your feet. Let's go. I don't think so, Hawk Girl. And me without my camera, I could have gotten 10 million hits. Right foot. Perfect. 
Yes. Superman, good news. We've captured Batman. I'm on my way. Oh, I miss him already. Now, where was I before I was so rudely Pumped full of lead? Harley? Harleen. A little bird told me some creep was dressed up like the Joker, <laughs> fighting a Batman wannabe. You got the look, and a lot of nerve. What you don't have is the right. Ow! Joker was a hero. You're not fit to lick his boot and ear. Harley, it's me. I'm the Joker. Look, it says so right here on my underwear. Not funny, creep. No one pretends to be my Mr. J. You could feel the love, right? I feel like myself again. Joker's dead, but you're... This isn't my Gotham, but I'm the Joker, my dear. Am I your Joker, Harley? Pardon! Oh! Come on, there's some people who gotta meet you. Oh, Puddin! 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 Okay, Bruce. Ready for visitors? Want a comb? Nice work, Hal. How did it's you... It's not him. What? His DNA matches Bruce Wayne's, but his vitals are all wrong. You're one of the duplicates. Tell me why you're here. I love what you've done with the place. Arkham has never looked better. <laughs> Dear members of the Joker clan, you know the truth about the Metropolis incident. Superman killed those people, then he tried to kill me. I admire the work you've done in my name. Disturbances, distractions, general pains in Superman's buttocks. But let's think bigger. Ain't he dreamy? Harley tells me Superman made this pill for his thugs. Then bad boys and surgeons got some. Now we have them too. With these, a bus could fall on us and we won't be hurt. Slapstick at its finest. From now on, we'll be more than a nuisance. 
The barking dog will become the rampaging elephant. The whoopee cushion, a landmine. The joker, a king. Grave? Should have kept that suit buried. It's not my Sunday best, but it's comfortable and functional. I'm gonna enjoy giving you to Superman. Oh, not tonight, dear. You have a headache. Surely we leave the planet and go to some other things. I mean, when you've got Hot Girl, why not, you know, Thanagaria? Like. Yeah, you could do Thanagar stuff. You could have, you could put Adam Strange in the game and do like Ren and all that. Um, DC's got a lot, a but big even library just the of characters the that we know were in that game and were in this first game. If we keep them all, there's a lot of, I don't know. I think they really skimped out on that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree with you. The, the map stuff is, is problematic and it just makes it tougher to to really enjoy the game by yourself because there's just so little to do or, or so little to explore. Uh, but yeah, off-world stuff would be great, and then the second game can do more, because we, we will have Atrocitus, it'd be nice to have other Lantern characters, and to have more di more diversity in their gameplay, because as it stands, Hal Jordan and Sinestro, their rings don't do a lot. No, that's true. And uh, we have, we, we cheated a little bit, and I do appreciate this, where we have some different characters that are really just skins of other characters, but because of that, they don't actually do anything else. Like, I appreciate going above and beyond, for instance, with Cyborg Superman. That's one of my favorite things that they did in the game. Is oh, that, yeah. Is, is that you can play a Cyborg Superman. And I really appreciate the fact that his voice is different, but his moveset's exactly the same. Yeah, that that's another thing. Like, people say that they would love to have, like, uh, Jon Stewart in, in one of these games, and I would too, but I don't want a Hal Jordan that just changes skin to Jon Stewart, because both of those characters are very different in personality. They wouldn't fight the same way. And we already did that, right? Y yeah. You've got... Yeah, we've done that before. I just, I don't like when we yeah, are exactly. that lady. Who, who, who did they do that? Because they had Hal Jordan, but you, but you can turn into somebody else. Who is it? Um, is it John Stewart? I forget. I thought there was. I thought you could turn into another Green Lantern. I think you can turn into John Stewart. If not, you can turn into Kyle Rayner. It is another Green Lantern. No, I'm almost though. positive it's John Stewart. <laughs> Lovely girl. You can get past the feathers. Joker. Pick a card. Jokers die here. I'll kill you, clown boy! So the Bat Brat joins Superman. Tell me. Whose boots are tastier to lick? Batman's a criminal, just like you. Nothing like me. So you're a hero where you come from? Oh no, dear boy. It's just that Batman corrupts young minds while I... bash them out of their skulls.
I'll have to tell Batman. There's been a death in the family. We're outnumbered. Let's go. You can turn that off now. Thanks for showing up so fast, Bats. Hi, gang. What do we do now? Anyone up for pancakes? Joker. What? Ow! Why does she hate pancakes? What are you playing at, Harleen? What's he doing here? Mr. J can be a big help to us. So, you came along on our little field trip. And I'm guessing he didn't arrive alone. Where's Batman? There's one right there. <clears throat> Your eyes. Pure evil, just like his. Who? Superman? His flying friends took Batman. My Batman. Our Batman. Quiet, or I'll cuff you and leave you for the police. Then why did you save me from them? Ow! <laughs> if Batman's been captured, we gotta bust him out. To free your Batman, we need to complete our mission. Ooh, I love a good mission. Negative. You and your clan lay low. You're a target now. And you're too dangerous to run free. More of them will be here soon. Go. I'll catch up with you. I don't like you. So you found them. A parallel dimension. Now, how do we get there? We don't. We pull them here. No risk to an away team. Good. Still the same problem, though. How do we do it? With this. We're gonna modify my cosmic treadmill. Pull them all back at once. We got some work to do. Beautiful, isn't it? The moon or its light shining off your bald head. I'm pleased you wanted to meet. You're finally ready to join our little club? Business is bad. Being hunted is worse. After so many refusals, why now? They made it personal. Must have been some party. Superman did this? Exposed my identity and froze all Wayne Tech assets. Made Bruce Wayne a non-person. I still can't believe he lost it this bad, even with what Joker did. In Superman's mind, he destroyed Metropolis. I'm not following. Somehow Joker altered Superman's mind, so he believed he was fighting Doomsday. But it was Lois. No. Joker linked the nuke's trigger to Lois's heartbeat. When she and the baby died, Metropolis died with them. Superman was vulnerable, probably for the first time in his life. His fear won out. Green Arrow died trying to explain that to him. All right, moving on. What's with all the security? I mean, he already trashed the place. Would you take any chances with me? I need to crank up the Batcave's backup generator. You're with me. You three secure the Batcave entrance. It's in the study. That's a great plan, Spooky, but uh, isn't this your show? Splitting up saves time, and you're best suited to take out the automated sentry guns. All right, then. Operation Thunder, Eagle, Lightning, whatever, is underway. Over there. Cold.
Arrow Man and Grundy. Okay, yeah, because I, I haven't done a lot of stuff with Green Lantern. I tend to play more with, yep, like, Yeah, it Batman is John Stewart. I'm looking at the wiki right now. It is. Okay, Stewart, yeah. Um, so, to your point, that's that's exactly what they did. And, yeah, he fights exactly the same, and I just feel like the, like, like part of the point with with uh, with Green Lantern is individual imagination. So, yeah. what those rings create should be different things patterned off, patterned off of the personality of that character. And then it looks generic, and, of course, that's, that's my problem with certain Green Lantern things, especially the movie. You know what's amazing that we've never done but totally should is make a Green Lantern Lego game. Oh yeah, that would be one. Well, see, I keep, I keep thinking of that with different properties. Like as many as we've gotten, I don't know. You just you can't you can't make fans happy about this stuff, man. As many as we as we've gotten, we just want more of them. <laughs> the sky the feels like the, good the limit. You know, years ago, I said the two things that would make most sense, that would be so much fun to play the movies up that we'll never get in the Lego games is Back to the Future and Jurassic Park. Oh, that would be fantastic, but yeah. We have, but we have them now. Yeah. Is what I'm yeah. saying. Like 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 Jurassic Park, they made I mean they made that they made the Jurassic World game and then Back to the Future is in like is in Lego Dimensions. Like I haven't been able to come up with a property that they've not eventually done. Yeah, they did Lego Avengers recently. We've got all these Justice League animated Lego movies and Lego but, games. It's kind of crazy. Especially once you look at Dimensions like they're they're doing everything. Yeah, I really need to get Dimensions, because you were talking about it during Crisis today, and it just sounds like the coolest game it's ever. It's so much fun. And once we get, I mean, there's some redundancy, but it's a lot of fun. And just being able to put all those things together, like, we're so spoiled. It, it is all in Lego, sure, but, like, like when I was growing up in the 90s, there was so much, there were so many crossovers that my friends and I and a lot of people were always, you know, imagining that we knew would never happen because companies couldn't, wouldn't be able to, you know, get along and play nice and get their acts together, and we've done it. Looks like the Indestructo pill works. Oh, for the love of... Lantern! Grand Slam! You kids have fun! Stay out of the streets! Stupid Amazon. Wasn't very nice, Snowflake. That it warmed me up. What did I miss? Everything cool? Frosty. How's Grundy? Weightless. In orbit. You didn't. Grundy's a zombie. He'll be fine. Let's go. It won't be long before Superman knows we're here. So you need some sort of scanner to help identify these duplicates. Exactly. This is data from the duplicate Batman I'm holding at Strikers. That's helpful. It's still going to take a few weeks. You'll figure it out. You always do. <laughs> Glad to be of service. No dinner this evening? Stefan has a new shipment of that Kansas beef. <laughs> Next time. These duplicates... Do you think there's a Lois where they come from? There was only one Lois. A 
I've never seen the Batcave. Our Batcave, anyway. Should be. Interesting. How did you hide anything in here from Superman? Looks like he was pretty thorough. The cave walls are injected with lead polymer. There's no way he could find what we're here for. Sounds environmentally safe. Sure went to a lot of trouble. Between this and the DNA. Neutralizing Superman was not a call I could make alone. So I put the weapon in a vault that only opens by simultaneously sampling DNA from Superman's closest allies. Our counterparts. With my Green Arrow dead, and the others backing Superman's insanity, I needed you. Your matching DNA. It's behind there. Lantern. That one. A rock. You're gonna throw a rock at Superman. on the scanners. Yellow. Computer, begin recognition scan. That's it. Let's move. Let your guard down at your peril. <laughs> Our Green Arrow was just as arrogant. And probably just as handsome. like a man. You're about to become a pincushion. And another thing, our Wonder Woman is better looking. Arthur. That's enough, Adam. You're done. You presume too much. <laughs> 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 
Should have seen that coming. Only one of you remains. Yeah, but I'm the one to beat. Lights cancel. Sparky makes four. Damn. Can it be fixed? The kryptonite's intact, but the optical resonator is beyond repair. Even with Luthor, we don't have the resources to build a new one quickly. Looks like we're gonna need some help. Ready to test it? Ready as we'll ever be. Systems online. I'm linked up. Flash, you ready? I'm on it. All right, let's crank it up. Platform should lock onto their signatures and pull them back. Got it. I'm vibrating at the right frequency. How we doing? Containment field's up, but the levels are spiking. <laughs> Cyborg, shut it down. It's okay, I've got it. No! Wonderful. Don't know whether to pat myself on the back or kick myself in the air. The Joker plan is reckless, undisciplined. The chaos they create is useful. We need more than pawns if we're going to take down Superman. That's all I needed to hear. You said this place was secure. Just keep him busy. With pleasure. Ah! 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 
Pleasure's all mine, Slade. Wish the other Titans could see this. What do you think, Cyborg? Like yours, only better. It's the man, not the machine, Luther. Wardrobe malfunction. At ease, cyborg. Batman? Welcome to Oz, Tin Man. <clears throat> All right. What I miss? It's a long story. He took a big chance coming back here. Why? <sighs> I have to flush them out. Now. All right. Let's rev up your transporter, fix the laser in our dimension, and come back with reinforcements. I'm sure I can get my... There's no time. Five years ago, a tragic event cost the lives of millions. Overwhelmed by guilt for the part he played in the destruction, he was driven mad. He became an agent of chaos, an enemy of peace and security. But no longer. The leader of the insurgency will pay for his crimes. Oh, I don't like this. At 6 p.m. local time, Batman will be executed at Strikers Island. May Rao have mercy on his soul. Getting help will have to wait. Rescuing Batman just became our priority. It's a trap. Of course it is. Then we'll have to be sneaky about it. Sneaky how? The Watchtower's teleporter. Strikers is equipped with teleportation dampeners. But they only cover the building. You just have to get Batman outside. Straight through a brick wall. I'm in. You'll need a diversion to keep Superman occupied. Leave that to me. I'll take the teleporter. I'm the most qualified to work it. And I can infiltrate their ranks. I'm with you. You and me, working together? Not a chance. The only way to access the Watchtower from Earth is the Hall of Justice. And if your cover's blown, you'll need someone shadowing you. I'm not asking permission. But you will follow my lead. Communication should be over there. Reroute them like we talked about, and I'll get the teleporter access codes. After you're done, make sure- This isn't my first drop, kid. I know the plan. Then stick to it. But whatever history we have with our counterparts, you and I have none. I downloaded your history. You've tried to kill this world's titans. Only a couple times. Then don't expect any warm fuzzies from me. Meet at the teleporter in 15. Not now. Hey, Victor. Hey. You sick or something? Uh, no. Fine. 
We still on for tonight? Sorry, gotta cancel. New orders. Since when has that stopped you? Yeah, we've had some, um, wild times. No, we haven't. <laughs> You're one of them. <laughs> Let's see if I can find your off button. Uh, yeah. with, with, with a lot of things, and especially now with Lego, um, just that you can cross, you know, all that, all that stuff together. Uh, I want to give Funko a lot of credit for that. Oh yeah, for sure. Funko deserves some of the credit, and then just the kind of inspiration people got after the Lego movie to make everything feel more streamlined. Yeah, and to just put a lot of different properties together that you never thought you you would see in the same universe. Uh, th there's just there's stuff that I you you never would have been able to convince. The, the the fact that like A Team and Ghostbusters will be in the same thing, like you, you never could have convinced me that that would ever happen. It's the equivalent to someone growing up in the '90s and seeing Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse together in Roger Rabbit. It's exactly the same thing. I've talked about that a lot. And uh, uh, to that point, uh, I think with the announcement that Disney Infinity is done, you will inevitably see it happen with Marvel and Star Wars. Oh, that would be and, the greatest thing. Inevitably. Ever. A lot of people don't think it's going to happen, but the... Uh, but I, I don't remember his name, but the guy that heads up LEGO Dimensions uh, was one of the first questions he was asked naturally when the first announcements came out for what the LEGO Dimensions sets were going to be and un unveiling the licenses was, is it because of, you know, you know, is do you have a licensing problem with Disney? Is that the reason there's no Disney stuff in the game? Because uh, remember, the LEGO, I realize that, that you're looking at footage right now, of Injustice, and we're talking about Lego suddenly, but <laughs> we have time to kill, so hope you're enjoying watching Injustice while we're talking about Legos. Uh, but <laughs> it's such a contrast. Well, I'm still turned on. <laughs> Cyborg to Wonder Woman. I found a duplicate of me. Understood. We'll send reinforcements. Wonder Woman out. Don't mind me. Just hacking your neural network. How about I return the favor? Like men, fine by me. Definitely not a good look for me. You beat me to him. Another contract lost? This one was personal. I didn't think anything was personal with you. He made it personal when he tortured me.
That's it. Got control of the Watchtower teleporter. It can't be that easy. When your cyborg tried to hack my neural network, he exposed his security protocols. You stole his password. I'm actually beginning to like you. Where are you going? The plan was to... I won't be long. I don't know. If he said it was okay, it was good enough for me. Yeah, I asked myself, what if what happened to Lois happened to Iris? It made sense at first. Bad people got what they deserved. But now? Superman's not actually gonna kill Batman. He's just bait. To catch the real Batman. And then what? Remember what he did to Green Arrow? Something's not right. Teleporter's offline. Somewhere you need to go? How did... Still just a kid. It's payback time. Ugh. doing it's not what I'm doing it's what I've done Finale's coming, and you got a front row seat. We gotta get moving. What'd you do, Slade? The reactor's gone critical. First rule of warfare, take out command and control. This satellite's the key to Superman's regime. Damn it, you've jeopardized the entire mission. Superman's my priority. 
Not your Batman. Batman, this is Cyborg. We have the watchtower, but we've got a problem. The reactor's gonna blow. Can you stop it? It's a runaway. You have 90 minutes. We're almost in position. Batman out. I'll have to teleport everyone off. Nice work, gentlemen. Got my hands full, Luthor. What do you want? I need Deathstroke. For what? I've learned that Ferris Industries has prototype technology that may allow me to re-weaponize Batman's kryptonite. I need you to bring it to me. Does Batman know about this? No, he would have insisted on using the weapon himself. I need to do it. Batman is the face of the insurgency. If he dies, it dies with him. Lex Luthor risking his life to save Batman. I want to believe it. Send over the coordinates. Harleen, get your people into position. Occupy any law enforcement you can. Yes, sir, Bats. I'm on it. Yes, sir, Bats. Can I pick up your dry cleaning, too? Wax the Batmobile? Ah, oh, freedom. He's gonna kill me. I'd worry less about him, sweetums. Let's go. I can probably fix it, but I don't know how long it'll take. Parts of the control panel were designed to work with Cyborg's neural implants. We have to keep trying, Mary. This may be their only way home. Make this quick, Frost. I'm needed at Strikers. I've discovered anomalies. Like tears in the fabric of space-time, I got your message. Get to the point. I think these are places where the duplicates arrived. This one may be the source of the transfer. The insurgency? I don't know yet. It's just a theory. Superman doesn't want theories. He needs facts. Why did you come to me with this? <sighs> Send the coordinates to Flash. He can confirm your theory faster than anyone. Done. Is there a... Oof. Nice detective, but you're too late. We'll get back to it, I promise. Yeah, I hope whatever they're seeing on screen right now is really violent. <laughs> <laughs> but with... But remember that the game that started all of this was LEGO Star Wars, and it feels really odd and almost disingenuous to not have that. Yeah, that, that in Lego Dimensions, uh, you, you like 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 the the basic structure of the games, the sound effects, uh, the you know the the hundred percenting, uh, getting all the studs and calling that up something different for each of the games. That that all came from Lego Star Wars, and th I really believe Steve that because that guy said said back then he was like um, he was real dodgy about it, but he said that it wasn't impossible, and he acted like it was more than not impossible. Like they just haven't gotten there yet. They, like it seemed like almost more of a strategy than a licensing issue where it's like wait, he didn't say this but it really felt like well Disney's got the Disney Infinity has those right now it would be weird to try to compete with them let's not even do that let's just let's put all our money on DC right now and then yeah. maybe eventually we can do it um I don't think there is a licensing issue I think Lego could have done it from the beginning if they wanted to and they were just smart and they didn't do it now people might have information I don't have um but I think you'll see that and I think you will have the Roger Rabbit thing where finally We'll get to mix, we'll get to blend DC and Marvel. And I think you'll see it within the next three, three or four years. Too easy. Your tactics are one dimensional. Yes, they are. I knew your lasso wouldn't hold you for long. You were offered amnesty, Deathstroke. You should have taken it. And miss my chance to battle Superman's rebound girl? How dare you! I'm an Amazon! An obsolete race with predictable techniques. Give me a real challenge. Surprise me.
Got you right where I want. I'm not impressed. Cyborg, I've got it. Send me to Luthor. Roger that. Hope it was worth it. Batman, you ready? We're down to 45 minutes. We're in position. Commence assault. Spare me. I didn't believe him, but it bought us time. I misdirected him. Small comfort for the ones who died in my place. <laughs> Damn it, Bruce. Do you have any idea what I... Do you think I'm here by coincidence? Let's leave. We can be free of him. Be together. There is no we anymore. Bastard. I have a job to do. So do I. That would be amazing. I would love to see some of that. And you're right. It, it seems very awkward just from the way copyrights and licensing work that Lego wouldn't be able to do that since they've got the Lego Avengers game. And so much of Lego's bread and butter comes from Star Wars sets. Unless they sign something from, with, from one or both of those companies that says if DC characters are there, the, the, these, these other characters are not allowed to be there. And it's possible, but if they signed that, why wouldn't he have told us that from the beginning? Yeah, it seems like that'd be the very obvious thing to to pull out and let why everyone know that. Your, why would he give your hopes up? And I've heard that there's some reference somewhere to, to a Star Wars ship or something in that game. I don't know if there's any validity to that, because I've never seen it. Do you miss the days, because I know I do, just going back to, and reading so many old runs as I do, do yeah. you miss the days where you look at, like, a Thor comic, and in the background Superman shows up as a cameo and stuff like that? Yeah, and you, you don't see that kind of thing anymore. And I don't know that we'll ever see DC and Marvel crossing comics again. Yeah, we won't see them physically cross in comics, but I also just think that the two companies have gotten so stingy about who's who that they won't even let us to have like fun winking references to each other. Yeah, that's sad. In a world where we, we squabble that hard over the word Marvel and if a character can have it in a thing that's not a Marvel comic. Yeah. Like we've got we've gotten that far. The Marvel thing with Captain Marvel, as in Shazam, has always bugged me, because yeah. if he calls himself Shazam, it's impossible for him to introduce himself. Yeah. Right. So why can't you just call him Captain Marvel? Yeah, it's sort of like a TNG communicator, <laughs> you, you know, where you're like, do you have to touch it, or does the communicator somehow rather know what you're talking about when you start using a particular <laughs> word? You joined the wrong side, Selina. He took you in, trained you. Sure, he can be an uptight jerk, but you abandon him for Superman? I'm not Dick Grayson. This is Damian Wayne. Wayne? His son. 
but Superman's been more of a father than you ever were. You stopped being my son when you killed Dick Grayson. He was my son. <laughs> Younger and faster, and a murderer. You're dead to me. You okay? Let's get moving. about <laughs> I could say the same about you can't fight it next we might not miss Reef. surrender Batman So injustice. Um, what are what are some characters that you are anticipating or hoping to see in two that we didn't get in one? And were there characters that you were really uh, sad when you first played that game didn't show up? Um, just based off of this particular replay, I'm really sad that we didn't get any Robins because their whole Nightwing thing rests on him being Batman's son, and Nightwing is a character in the game. So it's dumb that we don't even have any Robin skins. So seeing Robin as a character would be fantastic. Uh, and then also just as other um, DEC characters that I know will never get the chance to be in a video game, I would love Jack Knight to be in one of these video games because he's such a good character. And he's so perfectly built for a fighter. Yeah, I would have thought of him. Um, a lot of my characters would just be like more obscure things anyway because I feel like they got a lot of the big ones in. But what about you? I would expect just from a marketing place, and this probably goes without saying, to see more characters that have become popularized since that first game came out. Oh yeah. Injustice was a really interesting thing because it started at the same time that Arrow began this superhero TV boom that we're in. Right. 
and so the climate was different, but it was just, but, but some of these characters were just beginning to get really well known and become fan favorites. Uh, Deathstroke was just starting to become this really big popular thing. And of course, it, you know, he's not like, he's not like dead, like Deadpool in his popularity, but Death, you're suddenly seeing Deathstroke everywhere now. And that was, Injustice was kind of right when that was going on. Uh, it's funny because it doesn't feel like it was that long ago that it came out, but in internet time and in superhero movie and TV time, oh God, it's like a decade. Yeah, it's been, what, three, three years? years tops? That's it, but boy, how much has happened in that time? Oh yeah, for sure. I, I'd be surprised if we don't get Firestorm. I feel like that's going to be a given. Firestorm seems almost inevitable, especially because Killer Frost was in the first game. Killer Frost is in the first game and we know Grodd's in the second game, yep. so it just makes sense. <laughs> I'll apologize later. Raven, show yourself. Uh, don't tell the others about this, huh? Oh. Easy there, tough guy. Can you walk? Get him outside. I'm not leaving Just you. go! Well, look what I found. Time to end the insurgency. I would be really surprised if you didn't see uh, a lot of, at least two or three uh, Flash villains. Captain Cold, I think he's confirmed. Things. He's been confirmed? I think he's confirmed. Okay, so who doesn't want to see that game, just because it would be hilarious, really overwrought with Frozen characters? <laughs> Captain Gold, Killer, Killer Frost. Killer Frost, Mr. Freeze, and Sub-Zero. Sub and, and just because of that animated movie in the 90s, I feel like Mr. Freeze versus Sub-Zero kind <laughs> of needs to happen. That would be fantastic. If I'm not sure if you ever. I also hope all... that somehow or rather a blood transfusion has works works in, into that fight, <laughs> but that's neither here nor and and uh, and Arctic wolves too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you ever uh, watched all of the first season of Young Justice, but the no, first episode um, has the team individually taking out all of these ice themed characters, and then. As the, the Young Justice team is doing their own thing, there's an offhanded line from Batman saying something like, okay, we need to go to the Watchtower and discuss the coincidence of a bunch of free uh, ice-themed villains all attacking at once. <laughs> and then you get like 10 episodes into the show, and it's actually a plot point as to why they sent all the Frozen characters to prison at once. That's brilliant, and they waited 10 episodes to tell you what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Superman is the enemy, Hal, not me. Where we disappear. 
Damn! You thought you could fool me, Bruce? Like he did? This isn't about Joker. It's about you. I perfected this world. So many lives lost because I held back when I should have used all my power. For what? To control? To oppress? I could have prevented Metropolis! Saved my family! Crime took my family too, Clark. If you weren't the gun... Now! <laughs> Watchtower! Details from Strikers Island are still sketchy. Insurgent forces attacked there nearly 90 minutes ago. What? Andre's there now? Let's go live to Andre Garcia. Andre? Thanks, Rob. It's chaos out here. High Counselor Superman and his One Earth forces are battling waves of giant insect-like sea creatures. The metahumans are holding their own, but the regular military is in disarray. With Batman in custody, is there any sign of who's directing this attack? Uh, no idea. Can't see enough from our vantage point. Have the creatures breached the prison's defenses? Doesn't look like it. So far, the fighting is focused on the prison's... Seal appendage armor. Activate reactor core. Begin pre-flight check. All systems nominal. All inputs tethered. Neural command schema now online. Damage assessment. Reserve energy drain. Engaging solar recharge. Propulsion system offline. How long? Full restoration in 15 minutes. Damn. Humpty Dumpty fell through a truck. Humpty Dumpty's suit is off. Love the color. Matches your eyes. It is quite spiffy. Unless you want Superman to succeed, step aside. Both of you. You trying to beat Superman? Your bestest buddy? A deception. Created so I could aid the insurgency. Well then, how about we share? Be a doll, will you? Help Mr. Luthor out of my suit. With pleasure, hon. I don't think so. Yeah, that show, the first season at least, was just absolutely brilliant and well-plotted, so if we get a whole bunch of ice-themed characters, I somehow want that incorporated into the plot. I don't know that this is a smart idea, but you <laughs> could totally have a game like this where it was all just ice and and fire characters. It's just tons of fire, and, I, and and you have some silly story where all the ice characters team up, and, it, because, and the fire characters team up, because between... All the DC properties, and of course they have the rights to use anybody from that from that uh, company. With with all the DC stuff, and then with the Mortal Kombat stuff, it would be really easy. You could do, you could probably have 20 or 30 characters in that game. Oh yeah, for easily. sure. And uh, also just because... And I want Fire just, and Ice from the 90s. Oh yeah, Fire and Ice, they used to be on the Justice League, they were yeah. great. <laughs> Especially with all this Death of Superman stuff we keep doing. That's true, with all the Death of Superman stuff, um, and those of those characters showed up on Batman Brave and the Bold, and they were pretty uh, pretty big fan favorites just because they, they were really? so funny. Oh yep. boy, I gotta, I gotta go look at that, because 
I didn't know they had ever been uh, featured on, on any cartoon shows. She can't quit. She's fired. Can't have your stink rubbing off on me. What? Oh, don't worry. There's a generous severance package. Joker! No, no, go save the world. I've got this. Ha! You'll thank me for this later, Harleen. They're, okay, they're, they're in Justice League Unlimited, but everyone's in Justice League Unlimited, so who cares? Um, they're in Batman Brave and the Bold, and Brave and the Bold has an arc where essentially Batman forms the Justice League International. So you've got Guy Gardner, you've got uh, Fire and Ice, um, you've got Blue Beetle, except it's it's the Jaime Reyes Blue Beetle and not Ted Cord, uh -huh. and they've got Booster Gold there. Um, and there's, there's all of these great running gags with Ice being from, uh, she's like Norwegian, and so she doesn't understand certain cultural things. So, so Batman's like, we are dealing with the worst possible threat to humanity, evil incarnate. And she slams the desk and it's like, the Greeks! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go back and watch that. I've only seen sporadic episodes of that show. I think objectively it is technically the best Batman show ever, probably the best animated car animated superhero cartoon ever just because there's not a single bad episode. I've never watched one I thought was just straight up bad, although it's pretty easy when you're that much of a straight up, you know, farcical like 70s throwback show. Yeah, and it's surprising that it started that way and then developed story arcs. No, and I know, and I know eventually it becomes a, a show with more, you know, character dimension and stuff, but uh, but it's easy to not have as many bad episodes when you start from that place. Oh yeah, exactly. Um, I, I think you'd really enjoy that, I think. Unless you don't understand that stuff. The right idea about you. Try to kill me. I'll slice that grin off of your face! Harleen, no. He was gonna... I can't believe I fell for him again. He knew exactly which buttons to push. It's not your fault. It's what he does. Outgrown him. There they are. Over there. Back off, Easy, guys. He's on our side. Turns out he wasn't. Take care of him. Keep him locked up this time. That'll be the least of it. These guys will keep causing trouble. Go get Superman. Just the thing. <laughs> Green Lantern, go help Wonder Woman. Really? I'll handle these two. Go. metal belt. Give it to me. A source of my powers? Like hell. I'm giving you a chance. End this without further bloodshed. Too late. <laughs> You're done, Hawk Girl. Overmatched. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you'd love that show. I think that's something um, that's very easy to go back to. The showrunner calls it the comfort food of superhero television, and I absolutely agree with him. I love that he knows that and owns it, and that's what he tried to make. 
Where he's not yeah. trying to tell you how how deep and brilliant it is. Yeah, he's he's just enjoying how much fun it is. He he likes how much of a how much diversity they were able to throw into that show with dark episodes and light episodes. Uh, so getting back to characters that we that we might see and stuff, I, I'm having a hard time not just wanting to predict skins. Yeah, alternate costumes would be great. I know we got like Red Sun stuff in the first game. I'd love to see some of that come back. I would be really surprised if a whole lot of what was there isn't just repeated and then they add a lot of things. Because, so. because a lot of fighting games do this where they give you what you had before and then they just keep piling on. And in this day and age, there's really no reason to take anybody off the roster. Unless yeah. you want to do it for story reasons, but that's dumb. Just have your story be your story and, 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 and deal with the characters it deals with. And then four, four verses in arcade or whatever, just let us play with everybody we've had before. Or, and I'm, I doubt this is how they'll do it, or have some way that you can go backwards and grab your characters from the first game and put them in the second game. Like I said, overmatched. Shield. Since when are you with them? Since the day Superman decided to hurt us like sheep. He only wants what's best for us. We aren't his playthings. And he's no god. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I think the first option you gave of just like having the story be separate probably works better because we're not sure how much of a continuation the second game is. Um, but I'm sure that they're going to throw in lots of popular characters at this point that won't factor into the story. Like, I, there is no way Jason Todd Red Hood isn't in this game. Yeah. He's got to be there, I'm pretty sure, because Suicide Squad's coming out. They're probably going to throw some of those members on there, like Deadshot, and Harley Quinn's definitely going to be there. So that teaser trailer with the Batman armor at the end that's red, is that just a Batman suit? Uh, it looks a lot like an armored up version of the Batman Beyond suit. That's what I thought, but I also thought it could pretty easily be a Red Hood thing. It looked a lot like the Arkham Knight costume too, That's so yeah. That's what I thought, yeah, I mean, but Arkham Knight is a skin in the first game. And yeah. I don't know why you, I guess you could update it and then make Arkham Knight, well, well you know what, he could just be Jason Todd and, and they could be doing Arkham Knight and Red, and Red Hood simultaneously. It's possible. I mean, the, the whole game, uh, as far as we know, is going to be driven on the idea of customizing your characters. And so a lot of that armor would just be based on what your preference is. Well, sure. But I was assuming that with that teaser, we were looking at uh, in-game, maybe not what's actually in the game, but like in-story cutscene stuff. Maybe. The first Injustice teaser was also just a bunch of people running around hitting each other that didn't make <laughs> it into the game. Well, that's fine. Because, oh, really? There were characters that didn't make it in the game? Well, no, the, the characters made it in the game. It's just that what we saw in the teaser oh, okay. was no indication okay. of what was actually the game. Because now, well, if there was precedent for that, so why are we having this conversation? That would be amazing. Yeah, and there was this, like, I don't know, man, Cheetah was there, but then she didn't show up in the game, and I don't know what they were thinking. Cheetah, by the way, should be in this game. Wonder Woman's going to be big next year. I imagine they're going to throw in some Wonder Woman villains and hopefully some skins, because I would love to go around in this game using the Wonder Woman costume from Earth-1. No good comes from hero worship. Status? Internal circuitry 60% damaged. Flight mode is offline. Again? What did I miss? The watchtower? Affirmative. Casualties? All personnel safely evacuated. Superman was in the blast radius, but is unharmed. Well then, may fortune favor the foolish. I see him. Maximum weapons range, 1,500 meters. Weapons lock in, 7 seconds. 5 seconds. 1 second. System spin. System spin. System spin. System spin. I try. 
trusted you. You betrayed me. Who betrayed who? I gave you peace. Your peace? Your peace is a joke. Ha! The duplicates. They've incited insurrection. We must suppress this filth. Willfulness leads to anarchy. It cannot be allowed to spread. I made them safe. Shielded them. But are they grateful? Do they appreciate my protection? No. They whine, complain, side with those criminals. <laughs> If they prefer chaos, I'll give it to them. Metropolis and Gotham? I'll flatten them. Set an example. Then, I'm finding the dimension these duplicates came from. They'll pay for interfering. Wait, we're wiping out whole cities? I invading worlds and other dimensions? You have a problem, Billy. Well, yeah. It's crazy. It's going too far. Man's world is incapable of self-rule. We will preserve order. No, no, there have to be limits. Even on us, especially on us. That's enough. We can't do this. Have you gone nuts? Lois would never want it. Just. Anyone else? Cyborg, Raven, take control of all media broadcasts. I want everyone to see this. Wonder Woman, Hawkgirl, Adam, you're with me. Sinestro, prepare your ground forces. Lantern, Flash, get Doomsday ready. Take him outside. Grundy dig hole. Grundy bury. He was right. This isn't what we signed up for. We did our job. We eliminated crime. Billy wasn't a criminal. He was a, a casualty of war. Acceptable losses. Acceptable? I let myself believe we were making things better. But we're not. I can't do this anymore. I'm done. Well, you have a death wish? There is no done. Maybe not for you. Goodbye, Hal. You can't leave. Barry, don't make me do this. There, yeah, that would be neat. Uh, well, and, and frankly, it would be cool if you had like 15 skins and they were just her history. Oh yeah, you could do uh, Linda Carter Wonder Woman. Every Wonder Woman suit, I and I don't, I'm not even a Wonder Woman fan. Nearly every, like I, I don't know that character real well. Nearly every Wonder Woman suit I've ever seen was in that book. 
in some yeah. form or another. I mean, like, like that, he, he captured the whole history of that character. Uh, but there were some counterintuitive character choices in that first game, and I would say uh, at least a couple of characters that most people that aren't comic fans wouldn't have heard of or wouldn't have heard of in the context of DC superhero stuff. You can't tell me that most people weren't scratching their head going, who the heck is Ares? Yeah, yeah, he was a big factor in that game too. He kept bringing characters together in the story mode. What? Oh, I forgot about that. See, I haven't played the story mode since it came out, so I'm, I don't remember it at all. And I've read the comic, the, the first year of the comic since then, so I right. really don't remember that story at all. And I don't, I almost don't want to play it again because I know it's not as good as the comics. It's not. There's so much potential in that story, and it feels very abridged. Like. You get to yeah. chapter 10. That's what I remember about it. I remember going, oh, I wish I could read this in, the, in a comic book. And then, to be fair, then I could. You know, that's good. Yeah, they, they captured a lot of that later. But, like, you go to, like, chapter 10 of 12 in this game, and then Batman is fighting Nightwing. And suddenly they drop this bomb on you that, oh, Dick Grayson's dead and you're fighting Damien. And none of that's hinted at at all before that. I can only imagine how lost a person that doesn't already know comics would be anything yeah. like that. We're, oh, and these care and who is the, and why am I supposed to care about this particular character that it suddenly showed up and is, I don't know who those people are. There is so much assumed knowledge in that game, but yeah. it kind of works for it because it's just a fighting game and it's not trying to be that deep. Yeah, and that's okay, but then it makes me not even want to play the story mode in the first place. No, that's true. Um, this, again, it is one of those games where it's better to play it with people. It'd be kind yeah. of fun if you could have drop-in tag team fights. You didn't give me a choice, Hal. Hey! What you do to boss man? Grundy smash, little red man! Don't try it, Grundy. I and think maybe tag team would be story? a wonderful thing to add to it. Yeah. No, it'd be a lot of fun. I'm not sure how well that fits with the Mortal Kombat formula, though, because I haven't played a ton of those games, and I don't think they've ever done that. I don't know that they have. That's, a That's more of a Tekken thing. Yeah, um, I don't think Street Fighter's ever done it either as far as I've played those games. So, it, I mean, it might be tough, but just imagine having a fighting game where you're fighting with Superboy and Superman up against uh, Batman and Nightwing or something like that. I mean, if that Tekken Cross Street Fighter game that's in Limbo ever finally comes out, you'll see it. Yeah, what happened to that? I don't know. It's in Limbo. Isn't it really weird that you would be planning those two games simultaneously and one would come out and two or three years later we're still waiting to see if it ever happens? That would be so much fun. I'm not looking into the history of that. I don't know why it's in limbo. I've heard that it's simply they've had they've had a hard time figuring out how to make it work. I, but uh, I, okay. But I don't know, and it's weird that you would commit to it and then be like, yeah, we can't figure it out. But at least we got the Street Fighter one done. Making te And I, I, I can see how making Tekken work with Street Fighter might be easier than the other way around. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's it's tough. I'm, I'm liking that we don't announce games ahead of their development as much anymore because yeah. a lot of times we see things like when arkham knight was announced when this was announced when xenoverse 2 was announced half all of those games were like halfway done through production at that yep. point yeah uh steve also hard not to want to see this game cross with stuff oh yeah for sure i just i get excited about crossovers um you know call me a 90s kid never was a big zombie fan Time for a detour. Those I've gathered here are the elite, the best and bravest soldiers this planet offers. Yours is a heroic mission. It requires that you transcend your humanity, embody the highest One Earth principles. Obedience, order, control. But those who defy the High Counselor's commands, they will be executed without qualm or hesitation. Man loves to hear himself talk. Firing squad, assemble! I don't think so. Now then, Sinestro, enough talk. Yes, quite enough. Oh. Ah.
desertion, Flash? Poor timing, don't you think? You're right. I should have done this sooner. But I, I, but I do. I get, I get a little bit. And and fighting games have such a history of crossover. Um, it was a thing that we did. Like it was such a big deal to kids when I was growing up. It was a thing we could do in video games more. And and like again, this relates to what we we're talking about with the Lego stuff because yeah. that's a thing that you would be more likely to see with a property like that and with. Uh, you know, besides the Lego movie, uh, you, you know, you know, in video games, because video games have a long history of crossover, and so you don't get to see those characters come together in 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 a in a great story necessarily. Um, but uh, I mean, you know, the story for Lego Dimensions it's fun, but it's not you know a deep story. You know, it's, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a farcical, jokey, fun, hilarious thing. Uh, but you know, in in not in not not even as um, well, we all know how I feel about the Lego movie. Yeah, no, yeah. that movie is brilliant. Doesn't go to that place. Uh, but <laughs> with but with with fighting games, I've seen so many of my f favorite franchises cross over with some other franchise that it's really hard not to look at this and go, oh, I want to see what crosses something else. Like when when I was a kid and Marvel crossed with Capcom characters, it blew people's mind. Hmm, can't leave you just lying there. Now to warn the insurgents. What do you think, pretty bird? Perfect as always? My god, Ollie, is that you? In the flesh. Where's Batman? My Batman. He's off somewhere not being a murderer. Oh, come on, Ollie. You know you can't hit me. Wasn't trying to. Gotta think fast to be fast. Oh yeah, for sure. And um, in people's minds, and it was a big deal to them. And I didn't know the Capcom characters very well. I wasn't a Street Fighter kid. But you know, everybody talks about Marvel vs. Capcom. Nobody talks about X-Men vs. Street Fighter. That was a big deal. Oh yeah, um, a lot of the, the great arcade um, crossover games, I wish that they would just start porting over again, or at least try to make new versions of. Yeah. Um, cause Street Fighter versus Tekken's great. I would, I would also love to get Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. That's been a rivalry for years and we've never cashed in on it. Yeah, that's like Freddy versus Jason. It just has to happen. Yeah, I don't understand why that hasn't happened. Um, and then obviously with this game, after you've built Injustice, I think it makes more sense to go back and do a second DC Universe versus Mortal Kombat now that you've developed that world more. Absolutely. No, no, you totally should. Uh, I don't know what the inspiration was for let's leave the Mortal Kombat engine behind and invent a new one based on it and just do DC, but they were smart. They were spot on to do it because it was really popular. I, I never would have expected that. Yeah, and the engine is fantastic. I mean, it is one of, as far as being a brand new thing, um, and it's got some bugs in there, it's a very, very intuitive, fresh fighting game, and every character has a different style, which is very easy to overlook. Yeah, and I think it's potentially a big game changer. Oh, yeah. Because um, I, we don't get a lot of new fighting franchises. If you think about the franchises that are still around, a lot of them were dead for a while, and then we had a couple of games during the PS3 and 360 era that I think kind of resurrected fighting one. games I'm as a, uh, you know, viable genre again. Listen to me. I'm telling you, Gotham and Metropolis will be history. And then he's coming after your world. I can't believe he'd do it. It's insane. We have to stop him. That's gonna be a hell of a fight. No. I brought you here to get the kryptonite weapon. And that plan failed. You're going home. Then I'm destroying the interdimensional transporter. It won't stop him from coming over. It'll buy you time to prepare. Luthor sacrificed himself. We won't dishonor him by just leaving. We have an alternative. We bring over our Superman. Finish this fight. One Superman in this world is enough. He's not like yours. Don't let emotion cloud your judgment. Senorita, you learn to fear me. 
How is it Superman spared you, Bane? He appreciates my talents. Say a prayer! I will break you! Where occasionally you would see them, but now we're back to seeing, you know, a, at least a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm surprised it took three years to announce this game, but then again, considering how long it takes to make this stuff, I imagine they were probably working on it from the very beginning. I'm, I'm glad that they do that, though. It's kind of fun, because then once you once you finally hear it announced, you don't have to wait that long. Yeah, you don't have to wait that long, and you know what you're in for, because the first thing we got with Injustice 2 was a gameplay trailer. So you know what the games, at least some of the, what the in-game footage is going to look like. So smart to do that and that we don't have to wait around for four or six months to find out what the actual game looks like. Uh, you know, putting advertising and making trailers for games is so different from movies. With movies, oh, yeah. I'm always saying, you know, I don't like knowing too much ahead of time. With video games, it's a little different. I mean, I like to be surprised by stuff, but at the same time, well, first of all, they just, they, they cost more to, to, to get. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, a movie you go out and see it, eight or ten bucks, or or you, or you buy it on Blu-ray. Uh, with with a video game, I really want to know what I'm getting myself into before I purchase it. And with certain franchises, you know, I'll wait until they go down in price because that happens quickly. But with some things, if I get really excited about the game, I've got to have it as soon as it comes out. And you can only get me that frothing at the mouth with a gameplay trailer. I have to know what the gameplay looks like. Yeah, that, that's the only thing people really look forward to when it comes to these things. We've seen lots of video game teasers that are basically just one big cutscene that amount to nothing. If you go back and watch the announcement trailer for Arkham Knight, it has nothing to do with the game. Growing up a prisoner should have taught you the value of mercy. Peña Dura taught me one thing. Better to be feared than respected. <laughs> Themyscira? How did I... I brought you here. You! I've no time for your meddling. Calm, please. We have much to discuss. You may have bewitched my mother once, War God, but I won't tolerate your lies. Work out poorly like it sometimes does with movies or comics where you get, like, fanboy stories being told on big budgets. Yeah, and the nice thing about a video game is that... You know, if the point is to tell a really wonderful story and the story's not good, then the thing falls flat to a degree, but you sometimes, you know, much of the time, the point of a video game is to be a, a fun, interactive experience, and the story goes into that, but it's often not the main thing, even because, I mean, I'm, I'm being trepidatious because I don't want to say that video games can't be a storytelling medium. I've always, I've, not always, in the last several years I've been saying that. Because right. I have, because I have had this experience with a thing now. But you know, Arkham Knight story fell apart for me. I still, I still really enjoy playing that game. I'll still go back to it. There are movies that fall apart that I don't want to watch again. So, I guess then for me, the most important thing is that the game is fun to play. And so it has that up on movies and comics and books and stuff. In that the story can suck and it can still work as a thing I enjoy doing. Yeah, um, Arkham Knight is a great example because going back and playing the Chatterton maps or running around the city in different Batmobile skins is extremely fun, even if the story lacks. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and then you there's get... so much going on in that game. And, and, what's, and what's funny is with video games, the word deep means two different things. Now, Ares, you're sending me back. <laughs> Diana, your friends will survive this skirmish. If you truly wish to help them, you'll heed me. Talk, and be quick about it. We need to get the transporter out. If it's damaged, you'll never get back home. Understood. I know of Superman's plan. This is not news. But do you know how he intends to execute his plan? Not yet. If you hadn't brought me here... By Aphrodite. 
shocking, isn't it? The great Amazon army preparing to subjugate an entire continent. I can't... How could she? I... If only someone were able to stop her. Why would you have me do that? The conflict will re-energize your magic. In the short term, if Superman consolidates his rule, the conflict which fuels my powers will cease permanently. I would thank you, Ares. But that would imply you've done something selfless. Oh, no need. The enemy of my enemy... We are never friends. Our interests align. Temporarily. <laughs> I need... You've been discovered. I'll leave you to your work. Ares aids the insurgents. As a strategist, he's no Athena. Your look betrays your loyalties, Raven. You're Trigon's servant, not Superman's. I serve both. Superman's victory will hasten my father's return. And all shall bow before him. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you think we're getting a little bit too, we're demanding a bit too much? Cause I've noticed now that every time a new game comes out and it takes them someone like a week to beat it, they immediately say that the game is too small, despite knowing full well that they're an expert gamer and, it, and they beat things faster than other people. Yeah, I mean, folks just have to have some perspective and remember that you know, things are gonna take different people different lengths to play and most people don't spend all their time just playing video games. When you get something that is as immersive and lengthy and has so, so many things to do, if you want it 100% it especially for something like Arkham Knight, and then when there's still DLC that comes out, where yeah. even if you've 100% in it, there's still more things that you'll be able to do later. I think we're finished with all the DLC for that game now. But, yeah, yeah, that that game's pretty much done at this point. But you know, a thing like a thing like that, where for a long time things come out for it, and then the thing you have in the first place, uh, it took me six months to finish it because I do other things, and I'm not even remotely close to 100%ing. I mean, finishing the story. It just took me a long, you know, I was doing other things. It's like reading a novel. Um, just sometimes right. I'm doing other things. It takes a long time. So this idea that everything has to be this like giant 60, 100 hour, 200 hour experience. Don't count on your father's return, Raven. Get those Haste, my sisters. We cast off within the hour. Take that to the Athena. Sloop 51. After drop-off, meet at the South Pier. Mora's team needs help with an intership weapons transfer. Move! Diana! Your army will stand down. They will not abet Superman's madness. You hold no sway here, Pretender. I am in command. You stain Amazon honor. We are to temper man's aggression, not enable it. After Metropolis, Superman showed me the truth. Man's aggression cannot be tempered, only quelled. Slaughter the innocent? As Zeus full to Polita, Superman beguiles you. Your world's Amazons must be weak-willed if you are their queen. to give service. Help the innocent. Save the lives of friend and foe. That is our way. You lecture me on the meaning of being Amazon? I don't seek to lecture. I seek to depose. I don't think it's fair to developers. Um, I, like, like, I think a lot of people Maybe you'd call them casual gamers. I think a lot of people, uh, two or three games that big, or even one game that big, is enough for them a year. Yeah, I, I agree. And I mean, I used to be one of those people that thought Arkham Knight was too small, but then I just realized I beat the game too quickly. And it's, it's not the developer's fault. It's just a matter of how much we burnt through it. And when you really look at how much work and how expensive the disc is for that game, it, it fits. It, it is a game that demands to be on PS4 as opposed to PS3. And it's worth the wait. It's just a matter of you taking the time to appreciate it. Well, you and I were talking about this earlier before we were recording, but how many people talk about the exploration aspect of a game that never actually explore anything? Yeah, yeah. 
Um, cause you did that with your, your Arkham Knight gameplay and just sitting there and looking at all the posters and the details for the city and then like learning about some of the history of the world that isn't extremely important to the story itself is just as interesting and it's just as important. Now to rebuild what you've destroyed. Hold, my sisters! Hold! While I am not of this world, I am Amazon. And I tell you now, this path is folly. We are to unite the world's people, lessen man's rages, overcome them with compassion and love. She has enabled one man to inflict his rage on an entire planet. Let him be consumed by his darkest passions, rather than extricate him from despair. Sisters, let us return to the right side of history. Let us enter battle, but as humankind's protector, not its destroyer. We are Amazons. We are here to save mankind. by the minute. We have to get Once to Once I'm finished, you're all going home. You know, I get it. Like you, I've planned for the day when Superman might lose control. But without help, you'll die. And the insurgency along with you. Then maybe that's my fate. We don't believe in fate. <laughs> 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 made it ours when you brought us here. I think one of the reasons that Arkham City was a more rich experience for me than it was for some other people was because I let myself get consumed by that world. And maybe it didn't, it wasn't a consuming thing for other people. It is nothing, nothing against people in the way they play video games. But, you know, I went down into Wonder City and just ate that whole concept up. Yeah. And I just wanted to live in that world and, and, and it, it kind of, you know, it, it, it kind of uh, set my imagination on fire. Yeah, and I mean, it goes back to the term you mentioned earlier of just hardcore gamer and how how different that term has become over the years, where a hardcore gamer now just means you play a certain number and a certain type of games constantly, when it used to just mean you play a lot of video games. Yeah, well, and I may sound really ignorant when I say this because I'm not the type of gamer that a lot of other people are, so I don't mean to offend anyone when I say this. I'm simply asking you this question, Steve, because, and I'm going to ask this question to someone that is this kind of gamer, so I think it's totally fair. Steve, you like FPSs. You are a Call of Duty guy. I'm like, yeah. you know, a lot of people probably don't know that about you. You, you. you play the kinds of games that people like me kind of, um, you, you, you know, kind of, I. Uh, you don't really care for and don't really understand the appeal of. If we're done here, we're losing time. This is a mistake. You brought us here because you had faith. Faith, we'd uphold the values you've given everything to defend. So trust us. Trust yourself. And let's end this. You have no idea how to use it, do you? I was hoping you wouldn't figure that out. 
Innocent people are dying. We'll take the others, so you can focus on their Superman. We'll do it together. It'll prevent more casualties. Then Superman. Doomsday is going to be tricky. Collateral damage. I'll have to force that fight elsewhere. Anything else? I realize this isn't entirely accurate but it's good to have you back. Adam. If Kondok exists here, I suggest you go home. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's the kind of game that people roll their eyes at because really all it is is the same thing over and over again. It's really repetitive in a lot of ways. It's kind of offensively bad, but I love them. Yeah, and that's and that's fine. Nothing against you, but you know, you know, I kind of I, I kind of um, scoff at games like that because I'm no good at them, and I don't know how to get good at them. Because when I get in and play with other people, they kill me immediately, and I don't know how I'm supposed to learn how to get good at strategy and aiming well and picking the correct gun and whatever. But the question I wanted to ask you is, because I think a lot of these might be the same people. And I want to know if I'm, if, if you think I'm being fair when I say that. Uh, I think a lot of the same people that blow through a game like Arkham Knight really fast and say it's too short are also the kind of people that, as you just said, will play Call of Duty for hours and hours on end and are looking at the same thing over and over again. I think that's pretty fair. I don't get um, that. I just, I, just, I don't understand that complaint when you're in, you're enjoying the repetition of this thing that you're getting really good at, and I can understand the appeal of that. Um, I'm just not good at shooting things, so I don't have... The, and I'm trying to get better with Battlefront, but that that game's starting to get dull to me because it is the same thing over and over again, and there's only so many arenas. Um, yeah. But, but, like, but like, I don't really understand that, that criticism because, A, you like doing a thing over and over again, and B, why don't you just slow down? Yeah, and I mean, a lot of it also just goes back to the fact that video games have now have become sports like we have major league gaming people That's have got the bug to compete with everything mm -hmm. um in call of duty there's this system called prestige which is basically you get to the highest rank available and then you have the option to start over and you keep doing that until a certain point and at the end you get some kind of special symbol that says you've done it a certain number of times and after a call of duty game comes out you can turn on the online chart within 24 hours and someone will have already gotten that. And so it's just a matter of this person must have been playing this game all day for 24 hours straight, and it's only, they're only doing that because they want to be on top of the leaderboard. Yeah, and I mean, I kind of do the same thing. Like, every time we <laughs> played Battlefront, most of what I was doing was checking to make sure what my kill-death ratio was. And this is a thing that absolutely baffles people, um, and did me for a long time, too. And then I met people like Steve Faxi. Where I will, where, 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 you know, Steve, you and I will announce when a season of a Netflix Marvel show will come out that we're going to do a, a spoiler cast like two weeks after it comes out to give people time to watch it. And some people are like, how am I supposed to watch that in two weeks? And yeah. then some people have already seen all of it and have a review out before I've seen the second episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with the Netflix shows, every time they come out, I wake up at 3 a.m. when they come out and then watch them for, for 13 hours straight. And the thing is, that might sound like unusual obsessive behavior to people, but a lot of people do that. They do. They do. I don't recommend it, by the way. I think that's a terrible way to watch some of these shows, but I do it anyway. <laughs> well, and then you watch it again later. Yeah, I watch it again later. Part of, part of it is the a lot of this stuff um, just makes more sense to live with. Your evil must end. <sighs> ah! 
That'll hold you long enough. <laughs> Not so super, was he? Here's your chance to do what's right. I would take it. Superman, to take on the might of Atlantis? Yes, we are. Wanted here. The, the big thing with Daredevil yeah. season one as opposed to Daredevil season two is it's a 13 hour movie, sure, but so much is going on per episode that you really should stop and kind of think about it and understand it and appreciate the work being put into it before you blow through it. And it's a, the same way with video games yeah. where there's just so much detail, whether it's story or gameplay or just technical achievement that you ought to stop and appreciate and then you get the full experience out of it as opposed to just burning through it and saying you did it. Yeah, because I want to be able to remember the experience and, you know, kind of put it into my mental Rolodex. Yeah. And be able to call back to it. When I mean, you know, part of that obviously for me is because, I mean, I, I have a special circumstance because I analyze things and like that's kind of that's kind of what I do. And so I want to be able to have a... Um, when I have kind of a file cabinet of stuff that I can that I can call back to and relate to other things that I'm talking about, and if you just blow through through things real fast, you won't you won't remember any of the details, and it's it's more you know you know it, it's harder to you know for lack of a better term like you know you know add to the scholarship. Yeah, and injustice in a lot of ways is a good middle ground between those two things because injustice's story is really shallow, but there's so many interesting things to explore that the comics have done. And then at the same time, there's so much fun to be had individually with the characters and the move sets and stuff that it's a real party game that you want to sit there for hours on end with a bunch of your friends and just roll through the list of characters and see who's best with who. Well, and a lot what... of that just comes with being patient with it and having fun as opposed to trying to constantly be the best at it. Superman, we've broken their ranks. They're retreating. Good. Once they're pushed back, we'll need help with rescue and recovery. I'll break off a legion as quickly as possible. Thanks, Diana. You always make it look easy. Let's get through this first. Then tell me how easy it looked. We'll need to start. <laughs>
live disappointed. Yeah, and also nothing wrong with being competitive. I mean, I yeah, think, nothing I think wrong with being competitive. Just do both. I guess the difficulty, the difficult thing is if you, as fast as you possibly can, learn all the move sets and get as good as you can. Where anybody that comes up and because I've got a friend like this, where where anybody and his name is not Steve Baxi, but Steve is sort of like this too. Where where when you when you get in a room with them and uh, and you fight them. You lose every time and very quickly, and that's no fun for the other person. Yeah. Uh, but if you have another friend that works that way, then you're on that same level, and, 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 and you can have a good time with that. What I love about fighting games, Steve, is they, you know, you know sometimes they'll, be, uh, they'll get outdated, you know, certain fighting games, where it's yeah. kind of hard to go back to them because we've reinvented the wheel or you know really improved on them and they're and and it's just it's just too much like the difference between a current mac operating system and a, and a you know a mac plus or something yeah um but by and large most fighting games i can go back to and they don't feel especially if you haven't played them in a while uh it's not like when the next one comes out you're not gonna you're not gonna play them anymore and even with long-running franchises that have multiple installments i find myself going back to early ones yeah most of my favorite fighting games are five ten almost uh, sometimes even like 15 years old just because it's part of the charm of the game comes from what it can and can't do yeah that's a really good point and from the history of it Sometimes yeah. it's fun to just go back to see how far we've come, and you know that that might that might sound to people like like kind of a kind of a silly thing where well it's just a nostalgic thing then, and you're just you're just kind of looking at it for the historic charm and just the cuteness of oh look at how uh, uh, you know new new age and uh, you know top of the line you thought you were. You know? Right, but um, but yeah, and some of it is nostalgic is nostalgia and stuff, but like. Doomsday's not today. I knew they'd pull you over eventually. You don't belong here. My obligations don't end at the borders of my dimension. I am this world's savior. I protect it. That's what's happening out there? Protection? Disobedient children will be punished. Children? We're not gods. We don't decide who lives and who dies. The decision is mine! It became mine when Joker turned me into a weapon of mass destruction! I know what you lost. And you judge me? After I've killed you, I'll bring Lois here. When she sees how I've perfected this world, she'll, she'll be afraid and disgusted. She'll be alive! Lois's death doesn't just- He stole her from me! You stole this planet's freedom! It's time to give it back. You look at the difference, and I always have to bring this up because I love Virtual Fighter. You look at the, the, the difference between Virtual Fighter 2 and Virtual Fighter 3, which might as well be different franchises to a degree. <laughs> uh, and... In Virtual Fighter 2, you jump like you're on the moon, and in Virtual Fighter 3, you don't jump at all. And your strategies are different. Right. Yeah, um, and my always go-to example is just Dragon Ball Z games, where you play the ones now, and you, you've got at least 15 years where the story material from, from when Goku's a kid all the way to, like, Super Saiyan 4, and then you go back to an older game, and you're just at the Cell arc, or you're just at the Frieza arc, and you the top-of-the-line thing is just, like, KO Ken or Super Saiyan, and it's a completely different game, because the powers are so much lower. I think there was a period when people thought that the side, that, that the 2D fighter, and it's not 2D really, I mean obviously the models are 3D now and the backgrounds are 3D, but it's 2D in the sense that you're mostly, it's not even 2D, but like like just, in, it, it feels like an old 2D fighter in the sense that you're still right to left, well I guess, I guess Injustice is. Yeah. Because I guess I guess there isn't really a three dimensional plane that you're, that, that you're playing on. Um, you can interact with it though, right, like you can hit people into the background. Yeah, but by and large, you're moving right to left. I, I guess right. I'm, I guess I'm thinking of some other things like Dead, Dead or Alive and things like that that feel sort of like a 2D fighter, except there is a 3D arena that you can go all the way across. You can sidestep and stuff. Right. Um, you can't do that in this game. But I think there was a period of time where we thought that this whole thing was played out, and it's like it's like 2D side scrollers. It's all come back. 
Yeah, um, and again, part of that just goes back to like so much diversity in video games where there's something for everyone. We've got like hardcore side scrollers. We've got like side scrollers for beginners. We've got hardcore FPSs. Then we've got like stuff like Splatoon, which is just an FPS for, for a much smaller crowd. And, and for an all ages crowd. Yeah, and an all ages crowd. Then like fighting games even. Um, you compare Injustice to something much smaller like Street Fighter or even like Dragon Ball Z, which are for a younger groups. <laughs> terrorize these people any longer. Uh, fear is the only thing these people understand. One day, you'll learn. Superman's accomplices have been rounded up or turned themselves in. The next job is restoring civil order. The transitional government has its hands full. We're here if they need help. Thanks, but no. The people need to know they're in control, not us. So you haven't changed your mind? I respect the president's offer, but I don't belong in government. None of us do. You think Batman has a future here? Crime and corruption will return. Ollie would have called me a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. And your Superman? He'll stand trial. They all will. He was right, you know. About what? Put in the same position? I might have done the same thing. We never know what we're truly capable of. I hope for your world's sake you never find out. Just keep this in mind. Yeah? If something ever happens and you do lose it, I'm coming for you. <laughs> You'll have to get in line. Um, I also want to eventually see Starro as a playable character. I think that needs to happen. That would be so much fun. I'm surprised he's not at least a background character in I some th of this stuff. I think that's very important. I think that needs to happen. Um, yeah, no, that, that would definitely be great. Um, there are lots of, uh, lists I'm seeing right now, like people that want like Zoom and, um. Zoom seems like a natural choice. I, I could really see that, especially, you know, obviously because he was popular in that show. 
yeah, Zoom, Reverse Flash, a lot of the rogues that we got in the TV shows, and then just other Batman characters, like people want Asriel now because of oh, Gotham that would be in wonderful. the game. Asriel would be great. I would love to go around beating people up with a flaming sword. I also think it would be funny if there was a Galavant skin. Oh, that'd be great. If And he still has the sword and everything. If Zoom is in the game, could he please be voiced by Tony Todd? Oh, that'd be fantastic. Could and oh, of that. course, multiple skins. So like you get like the movie, the, the TV show skin, and then you'd also get like classic comic book Professor Zoom. Uh, I want the, um, I want a Jesse Eisenberg skin for Lex Luthor. <laughs> it's just his mechanical suit, except he's got hair. Except he's got hair. I think that would be great. BBS um, Doomsday skin. BBS Doomsday skin. Yeah. What that, that, uh, that molt. Yeah. <laughs> he like sheds the skin and then he has the protrusions. That would be wonderful. Um, I'd like to see the anti-monitor. That would be cool. Um, Dark Side, I feel, is like a natural a natural choice to be put in the game as well. A little, little odd that he wasn't in the first game, to be honest with you. He's got that cameo where you, you he beats up your character, but oh, that's about, about it. That. Well, that, well, then that, that almost goes without saying. Yeah, I mean, um, because a lot of the characters they've announced so far were background characters. Like, we got DLC for Martian Manhunter, but he did show up in the Watchtower, and Gorilla Grodd is in a cutscene, not a cutscene, but he's in one of the background arenas, and the one, the cutscene that we got of the Injustice 2 trailer, he's wearing exactly the same armor. Yeah, I would have bet money Grodd would be in that game. He's even mentioned by a couple characters here and there. Yeah, yeah, he he's around in the first game, so I imagine a lot of a lot of the characters we see because Deadshot's also around in one of the background oh. maps. So maybe we'll get him too. Yeah, Deadshot and Deathstroke. That would be kind and of Deathstroke. Neat. Yeah, no, that'd, that'd be fantastic. Like, um, like I said, it'll be interesting to see if anybody gets caught. Um, I'm sure there will be a cry for more female characters. Yeah, I hope they keep the ones we've gotten and then just add more to it, because I love the Zatanna's in the game, I love the Batgirl's in the game. Well, and of course I'm, I'm so excited about Supergirl. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm glad Supergirl's gonna be in this. Um, and, I'm I'm excited excited about, and I'm excited about tro Atrocitus, but like, I'm greedy, I want all the Red Lanterns, you know? Like, <laughs> Dexter needs to be there, like, I, you know, I... Yeah, no, it'd be great to have more Red Lanterns. Um, I would love if we got the Red Lantern from, uh, I think his name is Razor, from the Green Lantern animated series. He was such a good character. You know what I just thought of? I'm calling it now, Guy Gardner will, will be in that game. Oh God, I hope so. He better have like a different style than Hal Jordan though, because I, I don't want it to just be a skin. I need it to be like an actual I don't character. think it'll be a skin, and the reason I say that is because we've got Atrocitus and we've got Supergirl. Yeah. I really think Guy Gardner will be there, and he'll be primarily a Green Lantern, but he'll have a Red Lantern skin. How cool would it be if they just gave him a second skin that is Warrior from the 90s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then somebody, some random character should have a should have a skin that's Guardian. Yeah. <laughs> could it, frankly, could we just have a Death of Superman brawler? Could we just, could we do that game? And could we do it in, could we do it 2D rendered and be totally pencil-y? Like, really pencil -y? Oh, that would be the greatest thing And ever. could the backgrounds look like they're on newsprint? <laughs> could, we just, could we go all the way? Look, I know I'm the biggest Death of Superman fan in the universe, but we, we, once again, we're capitalizing on it really hard with Rebirth. You can't tell me there's not an audience for that game. Death of Superman video game, Nightfall video game. That That's all we need in life. Make it the same game, dude. Make it the same game? Sure, you go back together. and forth. I mean, that was the... That was that period. They were both happening simultaneously. Um, it's kind of bizarre we haven't gotten a No Man's Land game, especially with the way the Arkham Knight's been fr franchise has been progressing. And now that you say bizarre, I think Bizarro is likely to be in that game. Yeah, yeah, Bizarro will probably be in the game. Um... But I think that's probably going to be it for us. Cap, is there anything else you want to mention about Injustice or any other predictions you've got? No, I mean, I just sit around and make up stuff all day long. <laughs> but uh, thanks for inviting me, Steve. I had a good time. I, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't dominate too much. Oh, no. I, that, that, partly why I brought you here is because it'd be really boring if I just said things over and over again. So I need Captain Logan here to talk about more interesting things. I mean, you know, uh, only about 70% of it was even this game. <laughs> That's okay, though. People did get to watch the story. They got to watch me um, beat up a lot of people, although I didn't die at all, so that was good. Good job, Steve. Way to hit people in the face. If I did it, <laughs> I would die a lot. I Also, we should mention that at some point, uh, Steve and I want to play this game a little bit together, and I'll, I'll have to get it on PS4, because I have it yeah, on 360 Yeah, we'll, right we'll play now. that online together, and there is a private match set up for that game, so it's a much easier uh, way to do it than, than Battlefront was. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that, that'll be fun. I... We might be more evenly matched with that, too. I might beat you every now and again. You might, because I'm not great at fighting games. 
Oh, cool. I might have a one-up on you. That makes me want to play racing games with you, too. I might beat you at those. Yeah, I suck at racing games. So that would be fun. <laughs> Um, so thanks, Cap, for joining me, and thanks, yeah. everybody, for watching. Wait, were you going to say something? Sorry. Oh, no. no I'm sorry. Nothing at all. <laughs> sorry. Uh, see, now now I know why it's hard to sign off for you sometimes. It's very awkward. <laughs> um, but no, thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, we, I will try to do more Injustice things here and there. Cap and I will probably play this game again, and I'm sure we're going to get the second game and do some of that later down the line. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. What do you want from the second game? And... More interestingly, what do you want for more superhero-based video games aside of just Justice League and Batman stuff? Um, so thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you next time.